Hey Dosers, my name is Taylor. I'm one of the junior high pastors at our Vista campus. And in preparation for this pocket versus theme today, I was thinking through baseball because it's my favorite sport and I love going to baseball games. And here's what I noticed about every single game that I have been to, especially for the Padres because I root on the Padres even when they're bad. I've noticed that there's always the, the fans that are in attendance and the fans are the people that root on the team, they wear the merchandise, they know about the players on the team, there's always the fans, but then there's also always the disengaged, I call them. They're there not really watching what's going on on the field, but they are maybe there for social reasons. They're talking to the people next to them. Maybe they're just walking around the stadium. Or sometimes I always see people that it looks like they were just dragged there. They really have no interest in baseball at all, but they have to sit there through the entire game. There's these two groups of people. Now, I know there's way more groups of people, but I wanna talk about these two in particular because I noticed that these same groups of people that are, that are at a baseball game are the same groups of people that are at church. There are the fans. They're, they're fans of Christianity. They're fans of Jesus. They know about it. Uh, about Christianity, about the Bible. They show up to church. They cheer through singing worship songs. Maybe they buy the merchandise that we have here. Um, they're big fans of just Jesus and the Lord. Um, there's also the disengaged group at church. And the disengaged group might be those that were kind of forced to come maybe from a spouse or from their parent. Um, or maybe they are there in like life group for the social reason. They're not really a fan of the whole Christian thing, but they want social interaction in their life. You see, there are the fans, there are the disengaged at baseball games, really any sport and here at church. So it's at this point where you might be asking yourself, okay, which am I? Am I the fan of Jesus and this whole church thing, or am I disengaged? And my guess is if you're watching a Daily Dose most mornings, you are probably part of the fan group. But what I want you to understand today is really we're not supposed to fit in either of those groups at all. You see, there's a third group at every sporting event, and it is the players. They're the ones that are in the game. They are playing the game. They are involved. And I think, and I really know, that this is what Jesus is asking for us, from us, is to be the players. My pocket verse I want to read to you is in James 1, It says, do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. Do what it says. Th this verse is saying, don't just go to church and watch the action, but participate in it. You see, you don't just listen to a message being preached to you, but you actually do what it says. And this is a pocket verse for me, something that I constantly go back to because it is so easy for me to be a fan of Christianity and to go to church and to sing along and to listen to the messages and to take notes. But then it's a real heart check and just life check afterward where I need to really look in my life and say, am I living this out? Am I actually doing this? You see, that's the huge difference between the crowd and between the church. The crowd watches, the crowd listens to the sounds, but you know what the church does? The church gets involved, they do things, they work, they play the game, they get involved in the game. So my question for you is so simple, is just what is that thing that you've heard at church but you're not doing yet? Hopefully this Daily Dose can inspire you to wanna get involved in the game what incredible privilege we have. The Lord wants us to participate in what he is doing in North County. This isn't a guilting to say, do these things, how come you aren't doing them? But it's an encouragement to say, Jesus wants to use you to advance his kingdom. So let's step up and let's play the game. Thanks.